Tracy. Tracy. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had to move an appointment. And I found this one lurking around outside. Oh, come on, guys. Big family bust up, someone storming off. Okay, the snow machine might be new, but apart from that, this is like every other Christmas ever. Hello. La 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 la. Daniel's throwing a wobbly again. Mum, why did you two try and sneak in the ham again? No, and it wasn't that last time. It was his flipping bells. You see, this is what I hate about Christmas. Everybody gets so het up about everyone having a wonderful time. For what? I love Christmas. Me too. Mm, and me. Daniel needs to get over himself. This is for you, not him. Look, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's all messed up. He's messed up? Oh, the poor little lamb. Mum. No, I know he is. This is all about me dying at home and in hospice. Babe. No, oh, I get it. <laughs> He wants to look after me. Cos he can't do anything else. <laughs> Except wait for me to die. Which could be ages yet. Aren't he, Beth? He threw me a fake Christmas. You don't need to pretend. I told you this might be too much for her. <laughs> no. It's not. Cos it's what I want. I want Kirk to get the snow machine stuck. I want Tracy to say horrible things. Normal stuff. I really, really don't want you all to torture yourself. Because you think you have to be sad. I'll go after him. No, Ken. I know him, remember? He'll go and beat himself up and he'll come back and he'll apologise. We both will. But until then, I just want Christmas, eh? Yeah. But your hand is bleeding. Yeah, because I've just punched the wall. Ask me why. Go on, ask me why. Why? Because it's Christmas! Look, why don't you come back to mine? Hey, that's a bit flipping forward, don't you think? Don't you know that I've got a dying wife? Of course you know. You've just done a makeup, haven't you? Are you going to be around to do it afterwards, or are you going to have to get the funeral home to do that? No! No! I don't want to talk about it. Spare keys. Use it. Need it. Look, I can't go home, okay? She won't let me. And I can't say that I blame her because everything that I do just ends up making her feel even worse. No, you know that that's not true. No, don't try and be nice, right? Because this is on me. She's the one that's dying. And what am I doing? I'm just making things worse. Even this, even talking to you about it like this, it makes me feel sick. It's like I'm fishing for sympathy or something. No, I don't need you, okay? You go to her, go and talk to her about makeup or whatever, because she seemed to like that. No, no, I just said, don't be nice to me, okay? I don't want to talk about it, because every time that I talk about it, I end up screwing it up. That's because there's no right thing to say, is there? Believe me, I know how that feels. But with Nathan, there was no right thing then. But you've got to let people try. Because occasionally, it would get better. Well, not better, but just less horrible. But you supporting me with that article, it, it made me feel like I wasn't just that girl who got abused by those men. Made me feel like I was worth something, you know? I don't want people to be nice to me. I don't want things to get better for me. No, I, I want her not to die. I know.
Oh, please don't. I told you. Don't be nice to me. I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. You do. You are an amazing man. You made me believe in myself, and I will be grateful for that for the rest of my life. what he was doing. No, I did. I did. And I, I wanted to kiss her. I knew what I was doing. Daniel. I'm sorry. I know that you've got feelings for me and I used that. I like you, but I don't know. I just, I just wanted to feel something. I'm sorry. No, don't you apologize. This has got nothing to do with you. Daniel. This has got nothing to do with Daniel. you. to um, find some Christmas wrapping paper and everything. So. That's impressive. <laughs> she buys it in the January sale when it's cheap. Oh, that's my mum, not me. Um, I don't suppose you've got any Christmas pudding left, have you? Oh, yeah, I think there's some left. And brandy sauce. Oh, yes. Squirty cream. Oh, you could have it with... Uh... You're a heathen, Cyril. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys do then, Christmas Day, after you've had your dinner? Um, normally just play count and watch a film. Although it's got to be a Bond film, a Star Wars, or Clash of the Titans. Yeah, but the original, not the remake. Uh, obviously. The proper one with the owl. Perfect. That'll be nice. Do you want me to see if Ken's managed to find it? Actually, he's just messaged me. Daniel should be on his way. Um, apologies for the rest of the afternoon. He's got a splitting headache. Which means he's drank too much and he's gone for a lie down. Oh, finished sulking, have we? Right, Mum. Leave him. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. No, don't. Can we talk? No. Please, come sit with me. Thank you. 